After a design phase, the caisson production starts at our fabrication yard. We use a construction lane that consists of five stations for the different construction steps. Assembly of the reinforcement of base slab, concrete works of base slab, slip forming of the walls, installation of J-tubes and hang-off room, construction of the roof slab and construction of sea walls. To reach the highest quality standards, we execute all these works on land. Once a caisson is fully cured, it's loaded out on a semi-submersible barge and towed to a launching pit in the Kalot Harbour at North Seaport, where it's floated. Subsequently, the floating caisson is towed to the Skaldia Harbour at North Seaport. At this location, Demir owns a 600 metre long key wall where caissons can be temporarily stored awaiting their offshore installation. Trailing suction hopper dredger type Bredel starts the pre-construction dredging at the offshore location. Afterwards, large fall pipe vessels type Simon Stevin and Flintstone install the rubble mount for caisson foundations, the scour protection and the slope of the first layer of the toe protection along the perimeter of the island. Simon Stevin prepares and levels the filter bed of the caissons. The caisson installation then starts at the south side of the island. Four tugboats tow a caisson from North Seaport to the offshore location. There we position the caisson using pre-laid anchors and winches put on previously installed caissons. Once survey confirms the position of the caisson, it's fully ballasted with water. The caisson installation continues at the southwest and the southeast side until all 14 caissons are installed. A DP2 multi-purpose vessel then installs the caisson joints while sand filling of the caissons is executed by pumping from a hopper dredger. Afterwards, a subsea rock installation vessel, fall pipe vessels and a multi-purpose vessel install the large amounts of rock for tow protection and scour protection. The open edge of the last installed caissons is temporarily protected for the winter season and half of the island is sand filled until low water line. In the port of Ostend, a precast yard is installed at the Rebo Key for fabrication of cable culverts. These elements are loaded on barges for offshore installation. The offshore works resume with filter bed installation and levelling, caisson installation and sand filling, and tow and scour protection on the second half of the island. After sand filling the south part of the island and compacting it using vibro flotation, we install a concrete batching plant on the south part of the island. The sand filling and compaction of the north part of the island continues. The rock revetment, assuring a good wave climate in the CTV harbour, is installed. The secondary wave walls for the east side of the island are also supplied. Concrete finishing works on the island, cable culvert and secondary wave wall installation continues. Equipment and batching plant are demobilized and the island is ready for electrical installation works.